my ads done? I think they are. Let me double check. Yeah, they good. They good. Oh, I'm sorry about your streak, soul. Thank you for your resub, though. I really appreciate it. Let me switch over. Just chatting. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you forgot. It's okay. I still love you. Merry a rainy afternoon. Is it raining where you are? It is uh, pleasantly, pleasantly not raining here. <laughs> I appreciate it. A little? Yeah. Actually, did it rain here today? I didn't go outside, but I had some maintenance dudes come in today and the ground looked at least a little wet. I don't know. <laughs> it was raining a couple of days ago. Nice, nice. I mean, you know, it's getting into the winter month, so you should be getting more rain. Um, Even though it's like Last week it was cold-ish, cold, I'm using quotes, but because of the sun, because of the sheer power of the sun, it felt like 20 degrees, like, warmer. I swear, like, I went out with a jacket, I sat in the car, and I was like, I'm going to die. <laughs> so I had to take the jacket off. It was annoying. Um... I don't know. The TLDR is sun sucks. <laughs> What's going on with the sun here, I guess. I miss... No. Seattle was on the extreme of too little sun. But now it's like too much sun. I need some sort of... I need an in-between, you know? <laughs> but anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you had a good... Uh, It's been almost a week. Since I saw you guys, because I streamed like Wednesday. Um, was it Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I streamed Wednesday, and then Thursday, I don't know what I was doing. Not streaming. It was what did I do? I had a good time, but what did I do? I don't know. <laughs> I um, it's been a very busy last couple of weeks um had family visiting did wedding stuff and generally lazed around it was really nice uh and then i had a very long day on saturday full of chores and dnd where my character killed santa uh in dnd please twitch took out santa in dnd <laughs> um so, I guess we'll have to deal with that next holiday one-shot. <laughs> Hello, Beetle. Hello, thank you for your resub. I really appreciate it. Hold on one second. When you're done doing your stuff, I have my ballot here. So I'll leave it here, so that way you can grab it. Um, Where is Harvey? You're right, hold on. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, man. Exactly. Take down Santa. Okay, okay. Okay, so this this was the uh, synopsis of our two-shot, right? It was like, we wanted something. Oh, hold on. Hard Santa to say it. Coming. <laughs> I sure did. He sure did, buddy. Why did you hide my beautiful face from the world, Sasu? I forgot, Harvey. I'm sorry. Hi. Thank you. Do you know what you want to eat for dinner? Okay, we can figure it out after. Ah, uh, okay. So the the uh, the synopsis of our of our Christmas event was that we wanted both a Halloween and a Christmas event. So <laughs> Alex, who is our DM, was like, "All right, bet." And so the synopsis was. The children and gnomes have gone missing. Uh, <laughs> my my character is a tabaxi who, during a different one shot, 
uh, acquired a child that um, they love and is the child form of another character in our campaign's patron. It's very strange, but <laughs> we make it work. So uh, he was missing. And um, my character, of course, it's like the middle of the night, is waking everyone up. It's like, where's my son? <laughs> um, there was a little bit of a background around... Hold on, I gotta remember these fuckers' names. Hold on. Um... Uh, shit. <laughs> a little bit of background around, like, the god of, like, light and dark and how they took the day and the nighttime. Anyway, uh, there was a character that was like, ah, yes, I am the avatar of the dark god and... I took all the children. Come get them. <laughs> Basically. So, uh, me and my car like, me and my team go to, like, this dungeon. We almost get knocked out by a mimic, but we're good. Um, we take out the dude, right? We take him out. We're looking around. Uh, we find the North Pole. And in a, in a conversation in our D&D &D group that wasn't part of a session, we were like, how would our characters react to Santa, right? One person was like, well, this guy lives in the forest. I don't think he knows what Santa is. <laughs> There's another person that's like, no, I don't trust him. I see him, it's on sight. I'm killing him. <laughs> because they're like, this man breaks into your house like what <laughs> take that man out my character is like my character is part of a large family they have uh like four younger siblings and one older sibling they are the top santa stan they are number one santa stan they meet santa like <laughs> Like, they are, they are the one, they are the one that's like, let me tell you about Santa Claus. <laughs> so anyway, we meet Santa. My character burst into tears. The other character who said, it's on sight, immediately threw a knife at him. <laughs> and, you know, it's just like, Santa's like, oh, well, you know, I kidnapped all the kids because that was the only way I could give them their presents. And, like, you know, puts out fucking drinks and cookies. And my character's at the table, like, sobbing because it's just like, wow, I'm so happy. It's literally like when you see, like, teenagers at, like, a K-pop concert and it's a Seventeen concert and they, like, their favorite, like, I couldn't think of the word. It's not Oshi. Um... <laughs> Uh, they're biased. Yeah, 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 they're biased. <laughs> as soon as you wrote it, I remembered it. Uh, like when their bias looks at them, and then they like burst into tears at the end. That's basically what's happening with my character. So anyway, you know, he's telling us all this stuff. It sounds great. So I'm like, so I can have my son back, right? And Santa's like, um, and I'm like, so I can have my son back, right? <laughs> And he's like, uh, well, he's powering this thing and I, I kind of need him. Like, how else am I going to bring the magic? Like, I need him. My character is like, all right, Santa, grit your teeth, basically. <laughs> Grabs onto the lapel, goes to punch them. <laughs> Alex is like, a Yakuza title screen comes up. Santa Claus, Saint Patron of Children. <laughs> And then begins the most interesting boss battle that I've ever fought in a D&D campaign. Alex was like, like later I was like, did you have fun designing this? And he's like, hell yeah. So it was like, Santa had, he could summon gnomes that had different candy cane type weapons or abilities. He was basically like a, uh, 
Oh shit. Um I think he was a I think it's a warlock that has the packs. Cause he was basically a warlock. And then all of his spells were like Christmas themed. And um He also had like he could teleport between presents. So there were like conveyor belts with presents, and then there was like large stacks of presents, which my team immediately set on fire. <laughs> like they immediately set it on fire. Um and it it felt like Final Fantasy levels <laughs> of a boss. It was so fun. And then um I I I killed Santa. Like, I got the last one. I was like, guys, you gotta let me get the last one. <laughs> um, and it, it's also very funny because uh, my character is a monk, but they're also like a way of the long death monk. So basically, whenever they kill something, they get temporary hit points back. So like, a lot of our people were like, ha like they were really fucking hurt. And then me and my other like teammate were just like, no, nah, we're fine. Um, and then I killed Santa, and then my teammates harvested his organs. You know, normal D&D &D stuff. They took his coat, they took his bag, they took out some of his organs, and then they put the corpse in the bag. I- I can't explain it. I- <laughs> There- there's a member of our team where, um, Whenever we have any sort of fight at the end, she's like, all right, I want to see what this guy has. I want to take like his arm or something or his finger. And it's just like, girl, what are you doing with that? She has a plan for it all. I just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Looting, I get. What's the Oregon part? Well, it was looting the body. <laughs> And it was like, oh, okay, what's the most, like, interesting thing on Santa? Like, what's the most expensive thing on Santa? And they, like, basically rolled a dice to see what they'd get. And at one point, Alex was like, yeah, you get Santa's eye. <laughs> and these are all unique items that they all got, like, <laughs> like stuff for. Like, they got descriptions for. <laughs> off, like, offhand. I think Alex sent it to them, and I'm just like, wow, that would have been great. I genuinely, now that my character is away of the long death, I think they would have been super interested in it, but they were much more uh, worried about their son. So they completely grabbed the son and ran while everyone else was like looting the dead bodies. <laughs> well, Actually, half of our team loots dead bodies. The other half of us are just like, what? <laughs> it's it's very fun. Our our D and D campaign is very fun. Um, I <laughs> I'm working to at least get like some of it commissioned because I'm like I really want meme art of this particular thing, but the problem is. Now I have to think about what my tabac- Cause he's a tab uh, they're a tabaxi. Now I gotta figure out what they look like. <laughs> so. Oh man. I, um, I found a person on VGen that does good, like, sketch comms and, um, does D&D &D characters. So I'm just like, all right. As soon as I got my shit, I'll hit them up. Cause I need this. Um. But yeah, that, that was my D&D &D campaign. <laughs> We have a lot of fun. Um, other particular things that happen. Uh, here's a, now that I've given you the highlight of the last time we spoke in a week, let me give you the low light. And it's not actually that bad. It's not terrible. You're not going to be like, oh, Sesu, that's the worst thing that ever happened. You're just going to be like, oh, that's funny. Haha. <laughs> so we get like, we get vegetables every other week. Like we get like a harvest box, right? It's just a box of veggies. And we're like, yeah, we love this. So last time I was like, you know, I want to eat a little bit healthier. I'm going to buy this butternut squash because I've had like 
I think it... It's like a Japanese squash, but I think it's just more like an acorn squash. Like, that's how it tastes. And I liked it. It was great. So I was like, clearly, I like butternut squash. So I get it. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do stuffed squash, because I've had that before, and it's also very tasty. It's very good. Um, so I prep it yesterday, and it's in the middle of like us doing party games with friends, but we're doing Ultimate Chicken Horse. And I, I like Ultimate Chicken Horse, but I also rage a lot at Ultimate Chicken Horse. So honestly, being able to switch off with Alex was really nice. And then we finally got our friend who does not own any games to play with us because he was like, oh, Ultimate Chicken Horse is on sale. Should I get it? And we're like, yes, come play with us. Fuck. <laughs> so we're switching off. I'm getting this butternut squash together. Uh, I can't really cut into it. So I make Alex cut into it. <laughs> um, I get it all prepped as much as I can. I make tofu to go into it and I make, I, I got Alex to give me, get me like some wild rice. So that way we could stuff it with some rice, some tofu, uh, some seasoned tofu, and then some cheese on top. Cause you know, that's how you do it. When I tell you this butternut squash was like, yo, you got to cook it for like 30 minutes, maybe longer if it's a large one. I swear I cooked that thing for like an hour before it was finally good enough for me to like gore it <laughs> so I could put the squash in with everything else. And then I had to put it back in the oven, right? So at this point, it's supposed to be like maybe a 40 minute meal. It's like an hour meal. My other, the stuff I'm putting in it it's fucking cold now because it's been waiting so long, but it's fine because it goes back in the oven so it gets warm. <sighs> Guys, I don't like butternut squash. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. <laughs> I spent all that time and I was like, well, I made it. So I'm going to eat this. I ate a whole half of it. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's all right, I guess, to Alex, but inside my head, I'm like, I am forcing myself to eat this. <laughs> and then, I still have another half of it. You should have just fed it to me. I should have just fed it to you, Harvey. I should have just fed it to you, but I didn't. And, and it's, it's tough. It's tough. I, I can't eat it. <laughs> I spent all that time for nothing. <laughs> Me with my stew recently. I had to cook it for longer. Exactly. I spent so long on it. Oh, God. Uh, okay. All right. But yeah, that's my story. So now I got to figure out what else to eat today. I wasted tofu. I didn't really waste rice because it was new rice. And I. it was fine. It was like wild rice. It was fine. Um... Yeah, that, that's about it. That's about it. Um, okay, okay. One, one last thing before we start. Uh, I was talking to Ronnie about this earlier. Um, and I, I need to poll, I need to poll the Twitch chat. I need to know. <laughs> I need to know what we're thinking. Because if we're not thinking right, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can, <laughs> I don't know if we can associate anymore. Um. It's that food pick, Roddy. <laughs> um, all right, give give me a second. Um, content warning, food pick coming in. <laughs> um, and the concept around it is, you there is one. You can only you can remove one. What are you removing? Um, here, let me get the actual text if you had to take one thing off this plate what would it be that's the concept let me get the image i went through this assuming that i could eat everything on the plate just as another heads up for when we talk about it and i cry or i i cry either from depression or from happiness because you all picked the same thing um where is that picture? Here it is. 
All right. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> this is huge. Okay. If you had to remove one thing off this plate, what are you taking off? We got chicken. We got cornbread. We got collard greens. We got mac and cheese. We got yams. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's so HD. <laughs> I literally took it from Twitter. <laughs> All right. Yes, I can. I can. Uh, we're going from left to right, top to bottom. We got fried chicken. We got cornbread. We got collard greens. Okay, it's less left to right. It's more in a circular. We're going in a circular fashion. We're going clockwise. <laughs> so we got fried chicken. We got cornbread. We got uh, collard greens. We got mac and cheese. We got yams. I think particularly they're candied yams, maybe. If you had to take one thing off, what you taking off? Me. Me. Come to me. I can cook them. They won't have meat in them, but they'll still be just as good, I promise. Yes, I will I will cook you collard greens. I need to start looking at the stores and make sure they have collard greens. Thank you for reminding me. The cornbread! The cornbread! Listen. And I will stress this. No! I cannot believe this, Beetle. I cannot believe this. I respect you as an individual and I respect you as my friend, but oh my god, a yam lover. Ugh. <laughs> Me and Roddy were talking about it earlier and we're both just like, yams, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Maybe your quality of lay of lambs. Maybe your quality of yams is different from our quality of yams. Because I, I do think um, I do think at least in Asian countries they get better yams <laughs> based on when I look up yams to try and find like sweet potatoes here and whatever. Um, ube is technically a purple yam. That's fair. That's fair. Also, I'm not an ube person. <laughs> so it makes sense. I'm just, I'm just a yam hater. <laughs> I'm sorry, Beetle. I love you. We can, no! <laughs> no, Dad, I'm your son. Please. <laughs> oh, discourse in the family right before Thanksgiving. <laughs> no. We can... We can agree to disagree. <laughs> Cornbread versus yams. The fight of the century. What I will say, though, about yams is that yams tend to be consistent. If in my case, they're consistently bad. But they're consistent. Cornbread, it's a little bit harder to get consistent cornbread from people. Kind of the same with uh, collard greens, I guess. You hate yams and cornbread? Soul just said, I'm causing discourse at the family Thanksgiving. I hate all of this. <laughs> yeah, you've had good cornbread before, but it's so rare. Yeah, I find like, if I'm eating it at home, it's always gonna be good. If I'm eating it out, it's never gonna be good. <laughs> I can't believe this. It's the, uh, it's the gift from the office of the three guys with, like, finger guns at each other. It's like a three-way tie. That's us at the Thanksgiving, <laughs> at the Thanksgiving dinner. Get our K to do it. They'll, <laughs> they'll get it together in, like, five minutes. Oh, man. I'm glad we could have this talk. I'm glad that I could 
I love you all the same, but... <laughs> yeah, you're about to have your real American Thanksgiving this year. What? What's on the menu? What are y'all having? Let me get rid of this image. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, so what are we having? <laughs> oh man, um, you still don't know what Filipino food to sneak in? Um, hmm, well, hmm, good question. I'm trying to think of, I don't know any Filipino foods, so I'm trying to think of like, like, Entrees or sides that you could like slide in. You're having turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, dressing. Yeah, I know dressing. Um, some root veggies. Ooh. Corn, maybe. Mm -hmm. Solid, solid. I, uh, you'll cook for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you. My. Thanksgiving was awful last year because I couldn't eat anything. <laughs> um, this year, a little bit better, but I still can't eat gluten. Um, I had to, because I couldn't eat like anything last year and I was really restricted on like my cheese intake, I couldn't do like my regular like mac and cheese, which is like 70% cheese, 30% mac. Um, so I picked up this recipe that had less cheese. It was using gluten-free mac, which is fine. And then it had like coconut milk in it. And that coconut milk overpowered everything. It was awful. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I couldn't do any like normal tofu roast. So I had to make my own tofu roast. And that shit came out at a consistency I did not like. <laughs> and um, so imagine all that. And then I might've, I think I had collard greens still. So at least the collard greens were good. I was, it was pain. I, Alex ate most of the leftovers. <laughs> but this year I found a new recipe that calls for freezing it before you put it in the oven, the loaf, which is great. I freezing novel concept. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> that solves all my issues. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes this year, I guess. And then I got to make sure that they have collards around here. Cause if they don't like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I hate being in the mountains. <laughs> the veggies are never good. <laughs> Send food picks. Will do, will do. I, it's, it's the Thanksgiving adjacent holiday. You gotta, you gotta. The food picks are part of the holiday. Oh man, I, I hope, I hope I have a good Thanksgiving this year. I can't handle two terrible foods in a row. I can't do it. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Can't do this. And really, it's more just to have an excuse to eat a lot of food is my favorite thing. <laughs> um, Cause I mean, you know, I just don't like eating a whole lot of food like that all that often. Like I eat a normal amount of food. So just being able to like <laughs> go ham, as they say, is really, really awesome. <laughs> oh man, okay, okay. That's the Thanksgiving talk. We'll bring it back up when Thanksgiving happens. Uh, let's let's get into let's get into the game we're playing today. Um, so today we are playing a game that just came out last week. Uh, it is called Thirsty Suitors. Um, I realized I've been hyped for this game for a while. I. And I played the demo for it. And I realized today that the demo I played, I couldn't stream it like it was an NDA demo. So I realized that I've never really talked to you guys about it. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it's a stylish story-driven adventure um, with our main character who is, uh, you know, trying to handle her parents and reconciling with her exes and mending broken relationships. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I think one of the things that I love about this game, actually, is kind of the behind the scenes on it. Um, and in particular, uh, one of the animation dudes on it, for all of his animations, he like, he takes it from legit, like, real life stuff that he does. And, um, so when they were still in development on it, there were so many, like, videos that this guy put out of oh yeah this is what this looks like an animation this is me trying to do it or trying to like emulate it so we could animate it correctly and i don't know i just found that really fun and i found the game really fun it's um it's a south asian game um and i mean diversity yeah let's go so i'm really happy this is out and i rushed to make sure that we could play it um, like the day it came out, I was like, here you are in my Steam library. <laughs> so I hope you guys can enjoy Thirsty Suitors as much as I do. Um, and yeah, let me switch on my, not my Discord, <laughs> on my OBS and then we will begin. Let's see, let's see. Our category is now Thirsty Suitors. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Let me go here. And then let me switch. All right. Let me know. Is it okay? The volume's a little loud, actually. Yes, the art is so cool. Listen, listen. I don't think I need to change any of that. Um, the controls are probably fine. Yeah, so I've played the first 20 minutes of this on an NDA demo. <laughs> um, turn off the motion blur? Okay. There you go. Just for you. You good? <laughs> Alright, let's start. A dating quiz Ow, is the fuck. best distraction from the disaster you've made of your life. But hey, what do I know? You're the one in charge here, Jala. I'm kind of in the way. Hold on. <laughs> Let me move myself because I know that there's a lot of narration on the right here for a bit. Um, watch out for green screen. <laughs> Sorry, moving myself over. I think over here is fine. All right. You better answer honestly, though. You can't keep any secrets from me. Uh, LS to move, left trigger to break, A to jump, B to quick turn 180. Okay. Your date shows up in a terrible outfit. People are staring. What's your reaction? Um. Hmm. But what's terrible? Is it just like unique fashion sense or is it like they're wearing ripped clothes? If it's strange fashion sense, I don't know. I'll stay. I don't really care. I guess I'll stay. 
If people are gonna stare, it should be for the right reasons. No way I'd go on a second date. Oh, sure. Girl, we What's said two different things. What's the romantic partner if they're not a status symbol? Oh, cool. Oh, shit. Ooh. So, yeah, a big thing that I love about this game is just the flavor put into it, you know? What's your worst quality as a romantic partner? I'm needy. I'm needy as hell. I'm absolutely needy. I mean, how else would I know what I need to work on? Yes, the skate sections. Yes. Testing really did a number on you. There's like skate sections. There's cooking sections. There's the turn-based combat. Yeah. Oh. You deserve all the needs. Thank you. Thank you. Your partner says, I love you way too soon. What do you do when you're under pressure? All right, let's be honest. I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> you just put a smile on your face and say it back, right? Not if you don't mean it. But maybe I do. I mean, how do you know how you feel really? Sometimes you just have to decide, right? Make a plan. Carry it through. Bake it till you make it. All right, you got some points. But you also got a lot of exes. This is why exes. Your life is a trash fire. <laughs> exactly. You got a lot of exes, girl. Your carefully planned date goes completely wrong. What do you do? Um. I'm just gonna go with the flow, I guess. It's already ruined. Might as well just see what's new. Your plan can't go wrong if you didn't make one in the first place. Speaking of plans... Oh! Holy hell! <laughs> Are you ever planning to call me back, Jala? I haven't heard your voice in six months. Damn, me for real. Your sister's such a bore. <laughs> Good thing you have me instead. So the narrator is just an idealized self-like version of her You're sister. The same person. Yeah, it's strange. Really not. You imagined me with her face, but I'm the voice inside your head. I know things about you she could never begin to understand. We're way closer than sisters, Jala. <laughs> We're like brothers, but closer. SpongeBob quote. What are you most thirsty for? Hmm. Mm. It's between Sa yeah, Boba. You're right. It's Boba. <laughs> um. Hmm. Freedom. Want to be tied down? Is that really freedom, Jala? Or are you just drifting? Mother. It's my life. My choice. Yes, sweetie. It's your choice. So why haven't you made it? Dad! What if I make the wrong one? Again. Ouch. Still think it's a good idea to go home? You thought I was gonna pick safety, to be honest? You know, I thought about it, and I was like, but safety with no freedom kind of sucks. They all hate you, Jala. Can you blame them? Shut up. Ugh, fine. Guess I'll leave you to skate away your feelings. Thank you. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Y'all are just watching me, huh? Yeah. Have you ever been in love? Y yes That's none of your business. You don't think picking one means the absence of the others? No, I agree. I agree. It's just, I was thinking of, what do I want most, you know? Look at this, woman. Tyler? Don't I deserve an answer? So hot! 
Because you owe me an answer? Yeah. You're right. Did you love me, Jala? I did. <laughs> I thought it would help to hear you say that, but it just makes everything worse. I loved you, Jala, but you already knew that. You broke my heart. I would never break your heart. Jala would, but I wouldn't. Please call me. I'm home all the time. Before the results, why don't we just ask your exes what they think of you? Bro, why one of them a furry? Oh no, it's just a dude with the animal. Okay. Damn. It's feeling a little Scott Pilgrim in here. Congratulations. Your Thurstona is the star. You never see it coming, but there's just something about you people find irresistible. You crave status and approval. Have you ever asked yourself why you need to be liked so much? Bro, can you stop? <laughs> can you stop getting in my head that much? There, Raider! I think I got the star last time, too. Um. But yeah, you get different points based on your choices, and I guess I kind of like. Uh, what's the word? What's the word? Makes you, I guess. <laughs> uh, hold this to move. Hold A to run. Timber Hills, our hometown. I still don't get why we're back here. Uh, you and me both. You're like a serial killer driven to return <laughs> to the scene of the crime. Uh... Like a person taking responsibility. I'm not here to relive the past. I'm here to make up for it. You don't fix things, Jala. You break them. Damn. I can change. You're just going Damn. to hurt yourself. All you're doing is picking at scabs. I can change. Coming back here was a mistake. Uh, no, it isn't. Leaving was the mistake. You're being selfish, as usual. I'm allowed. I don't know why I even bother trying to help you. You're hopeless. Oh, time to find a ride home. So, oh, I can chat with these people. Hold on. Isn't that... She ran off with the mayor's daughter, right? Yeah. Twice her age. I'm gonna embarrass them. One. Hey. What a trendy haircut. Really brave. Uh, thanks. And Mindy, how's the poetry going? Remember when you became the editor of the yearbook just to get it published? Uh, are you accusing me of something? Just making an observation. Anyway, I gotta run. Bye! I love this for her. <laughs> Want some of my drink? Is it sugarless? I think it's light. Like, L-I-T-E? I don't drink that artificial sweetener shit. Well, you look great. Your body's a temple, right? Is that your way of asking me on a second date? Is that your way of saying yes? Luis, Luis, I love... I love the ethic. I love the work ethic. You just need to work a little more on the delivery. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jala. Been a while. You here for a visit? Uh, I'll keep it vague. Not sure yet. Probably just passing through. You know how it is. Uh-huh. Your parents must be pleased. Yeah, they're super happy. Liar. Your parents don't even know you're in town. And we're gonna keep it that way. Why exactly didn't you call them before you got on the bus home? 
Girl, leave me alone. There's a dog and we're gonna pet it. But hold on. Munch, munch. And she also predicted Kenny cheating. Total accuracy. I predicted that months ago. Yeah, but... She said she could sense my psychic intuition. Over the phone? It only works through the telephone wires if you have strong psychic for- No! <laughs> and if you're paying 99 cents a minute. I have a gift, bro. I'm speaking to her again tonight. Girl, you are losing money, but okay. We're not gonna eat the dog. We're gonna pet! Yeah, 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 we're gonna pet the dog. Yo! Yo! <laughs> How the dog doing a kickflip? For the dog. How I got a secret handshake with the dog? Why me and the dog do all that? Like, I'm gonna do it. I know! Dog QRT is insane! Like, we're gonna do it again. Yeah! Bam! Harvey is hungry. I love you, dog. You're so cute. Oh, let's sit. We can't hang out at the diner all night. And why can't we? You need to call someone to give you a ride home. Oh, you got a point. You got a point. Who's it gonna be? Mmm. Mmm. My older sister. Well, we haven't talked in six months. My parents don't know I'm here. My ex-best friend is an ex-best friend. All right, let's call the sister. Aruna's probably still up. That's gonna go well. You haven't called her in months. But she's my sister. Why would you? You have me to talk to instead. Girl? I'm clearly the superior version. Girl? But crucially, you can't drive a car. Yeah. Wow. Way to rub it in. You think I like only existing in your head? All right, sister's out of the picture. Let's try our ex-best friend. <sighs> Maybe I should just call Tyler and get it over with. Oh, uh, we were best friends turned lovers? Ooh, that hurts. I mean, yes, Tyler's your ex-bestie, but she's also your ex. The ex. The ex. Oof. And given the way you ended things... Was it that bad? That's my guts. Was it that bad? Probably. Okay, she definitely hates me. Sorry, sis. The truth hurts, but it'll set you free. Oof. My parents? I could call home and hope that dad picks up instead of mom. It's after 10 p.m. What if you give dad a heart attack? I'm sure he's not that old. Mom's had him on a low cholesterol diet since we were kids. <laughs> you really want to test that. You know he sneaks cashew nuts from the cupboard when she's not looking. That's cute. Uh, Jala, remember when I said coming back here was a mistake? Yes. Is it a good time to say I told you so? What? Already? Already? I hope you're ready for some long delayed emotional catharsis. No? Because your third grade boyfriend just walked in the door. My third grade boyfriend. All right, hold on. Before we get into this, because I know it's going to be lengthy. Um, I have ads coming up, so let's just do them now. So that way we have kind of an uninterrupted time. Uh, and it works out perfectly for me because I have to go to the bathroom. So, <laughs> like, I got to pee. Um, all right. So let's do a three minute break. Thank you so much for watching the ads. Um... Doing three minutes uh, makes it so that way we have as much time together as possible and so that you guys don't have to see any sort of pre-roll ads because pre-roll ads are the worst. Uh, if you don't want to see any ads, please consider subscribing to me or consider using Twitch Turbo. Um, but if you subscribe to me, you'll get access to my very cute subscriber emotes. Very cute. Um, or just deal with the ads, weirdo. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> while we're on an ad break, please consider uh, taking care of yourself. You can get some water, get a snacky. Uh, you could also go to the bathroom. Uh, you could stretch. Your body would really thank you for the stretch. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you in three minutes. All right, welcome back. I hope you had a good ad break. Let's continue and meet our third grade boyfriend. I need to move myself again. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me move myself over here. Okay. Sergio? Sergio. Here he is. <laughs> Sergio. Thirst level high. Jala's third grade boyfriend. Overconfident. Insecure. Macho. Needy. And far, far, far too thirsty. Let's start. You look surprised to see me, Jala. Or are you just admiring the view? Uh. Hmm. 
Let's shut him down. I don't want to make a joke at this guy. So let's shut him down. Actually, I just can't believe you're still following me around. I just got off in third grade. dude. In third grade. Whoa, really? What a weird coincidence. Must be fate, huh? Or a testament to the enduring power of Sergio's thirst for you. So, it's been a while. <laughs> God, our small talk sucks. Years, two months and 14 days. Uh, Sergio! <laughs> Sergio, you're a little too intense. <laughs> Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, bro, what? I take everything back. This is the most fun I've had in months. How does he remember? Sergio's had it bad for Jala since Mrs. Garcia made them project partners in third grade. All right, yeah, give us the tea. His crush survived the geography club after school incident, puberty, and Jala's extremely public on again, off again romance with Tyler all through high school. Damn. Man's committed to the wrong thing. His thirst is kind of pathetic, but you can't deny he has stamina. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, how's Jennifer? Uh, ancient history. Oh, her? We broke up a while ago. Yeah, if six hours counts as a while. Girl, can you chill? Let me win! <laughs> You're single. <laughs> uh, seriously. Bro, you don't have a chance. Would you believe I am too? All right. Time to attack this dude. Lowers his HP and builds my willpower. Come on, Sergio. Let's dance. Did I mention I spent a year abroad? I learned a lot of new moves in the pond. Um. It's all. You're ready, because I have a few new moves of my own. Okay, okay. I thought that would have been scary and sad, but it was a fine what do I have to lose? What does he have to lose? He has been. Oh, God. <laughs> Your dignity? Oh, wait. Damn, girl. Just remember, Jala. Mm -hmm. There are no winners in a psychodrama battle with your third grade boyfriend. <laughs> Only losers. Yeah. Just kidding. You could both win the prize of friendship and emotional maturity. How does that sound? That actually kind of sounds kind of nice. Actually, kind of nice. Oh, look, you're growing as a person already. Indeed. Oh. Fuck that pettiness. <laughs> Test A at the right time to enhance your attacks or defense. Yep, that makes sense. We'll pause again to show the correct timing. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. Indeed. Uncle, I pressed it. Oh, I love that there's accessibility around that. That's really nice. Ow. I'm finally gonna be my dad's favorite son. <laughs> this is the perfect game for me. Thank you, thank you. Aren't you an only child? <laughs> I'm finally gonna be my dad's only son. Aren't you his only child? His only son? <laughs> oh shit, I wasn't prepared for that. I still think about our first kiss. You remember? On the trip to the Seattle Aquarium in third grade. Boy, tone it down. It was so magical. Our lips touching, bathed in the Bro, no first kiss is perfect. Moon jellies. I don't want to say firsts are boring. Bro yeah, bro, thinking about third grader lips! <laughs> you told everybody in third grade exactly how magical it was. It was mortifying. I didn't know it was a secret. 
You know, that's a good point to him. I mean, you were such a weedy little nerd back then. So? Were you ashamed of me? Is that why you ignored me all through middle school? Uh, of these two options, I'm not going to insult him. <laughs> I just don't think that's good. Maybe, but I'm not ignoring you now. All right. My mom says I'm irresistible, and my mom is always right. <laughs> my mom says I'm pretty. Third grade was pretty traumatic. <laughs> My parents got divorced. My dad left town. That is pretty traumatizing. Damn, bro. He looked back. His mom spoiled him rotten to make up for it. Oh, okay. Didn't work, obviously. You're the only good thing I can remember from that time. We shared something special, Jala. Yeah, it's something that might have been the right route. I know you feel the same way too, and I'm not gonna let you ruin it. I do think that there's a. Uh... She'll tell you why I'm perfect. <laughs> talk to my mom. There are benefits to flirting with him. My mom says she sees girls look at me everywhere I go. Oh my god, a boy mom, but a boy mom that's like, oh look how handsome you are. Yeah, every girl loves you. But you're the only one I have eyes for. Uh. There is a benefit to flirting, I swear. I can't remember what it is right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna insult them. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. Yeah, I get him. Have you noticed Sergio's really thirsty for you? Here we go. You should try using that to your advantage. Indeed. Try using a thirst taunt on Sergio. Attempt to inflict thirsty on an opponent. Let's do it. Yo! <laughs> are we oh shit. Or are we fighting? <laughs> I almost missed it because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> the blinking waves. <laughs> to the mashing. Oh god. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> Your mom clearly didn't teach you proper manners. I love that he has the little heart. <laughs> Fingers. Hey, leave my mom out of this. Yeah, let's not insult the dude's mom. I would, but you keep bringing her up. D point, <laughs> point to me. <laughs> now you've put Sergio in a thirsty mood. Follow up with a thirst skill for extra damage. All right, let's do it. Suitor slam. Use your wiles to deliver a powerful blow. Do even more damage against opponents who are thirsty. Bro, she's dunking on him! <laughs> you don't fool me. I see the scared little boy hiding behind all that swagger. Oh! Oh! Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Why are you so mean to me? I, I guess being thirsty fucks up his attacks. Oh, please. You love it. Uh, yeah, let's do another suitor slam on him. Why the fuck not? Bam! I just love how she literally just dunks on him. still pick out your clothes for you? Or do you just have the same taste? Girl, chill! <laughs> chill! <laughs> Dad's been giving me mustache grooming tips. Is it paying off? <laughs> what the fuck was that response from Jala? You love it, right? He's like, stop being mean. She's like, you love it. I'm like, girl, you got a toxic. <laughs> you got a toxic. It's every girl's dream to date a man who takes grooming tips from her father. Right? I thought you'd like it. Bro. <laughs> Bro, the sarcasm went right over your head! We got one more turn of thirsty, so... You can't deny we look good together, Jala. I can. Think about it. 
you and me, we could run this whole town. Boy. Or at the very least, my dad's used car empire. My dad's used car empire. You don't know me. That's your dream, not mine. Why would I want to run this shitty town? I ran away from it the moment I could. Because you didn't have me at your side. I want more. There's some song around this, I'm sure. You think you can give me what I want? Your dreams were handed to you on a silver platter. I'm not interested in hand-me-downs. That's kind of powerful. Like you don't want your parents' approval? Why else did you come back here then? Point. I hate to admit it. He has a <laughs> yeah, he's got a point. I have things to make up for. Unfinished Oops. business. Oops. And that doesn't include holding your hand through whatever crisis you're going through. See? That's exactly what I need in my life. Oh Tom. my god. Someone to tell me the truth. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's fair. Even when I don't want to hear it. Bro. I can't let you go again. I've been waiting a long time to get a few things off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love you, Jala. I have loved you since our hands met reaching for the same tub of lime green Play-Doh in third grade. Uh, hmm. I can't say, no you don't, because that's just invalidating his feelings, and that's not very cool. That's not very... Okay, no you don't, no you don't. <laughs> We're doing it. This is the longest conversation we've had in over a decade. Yeah? And whose fault is that? Bro? <laughs> uh, yours, because you're so catastrophically weird when we do talk. This thing between us... It's you're right. Jolly. He can't love her, he doesn't know her at all. Joyride? Bro. Bro threw a car at me. Alright, let's attack. Oh! What the hell? I can't make a dent. This is Sergio's inner world. In here, he's it's the Persona 5 in it. To me. He could be out there. Cool, smooth, invulnerable to attack. All right, have a good dinner. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I will have fun getting beat up. Impeccably waxed. Focus. If you want to get anywhere, you have to shatter that invulnerability by summoning a terrifying psychological specter. Okay. Like most South Asian men, all it takes to destroy Sergio's ego is a single word from his mom. Damn. And they possibly could get there if he wouldn't be weird every time they do talk. Very true, very but true. Since we can't bring her into this. We have to summon the next best thing. My mom. Our mom. <laughs> Indeed. Use a mom summon skill to break through Sergio's invulnerability. Ow. All right, let me summon my mom for help. Bro, bro, she got the sandal. No! <laughs> He's flat. He's flat. <laughs> I can't believe you brought your mom into this. Uh, insult. You started it. <laughs> I am not beating the the third grade allegations. That's not my third grader would say, girl. You want me to meet your parents? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Oof. With all the toxic masculinity Sergio's got going on, I kind of suspect he'd be really easy to put into a rage. Try it. Oh, Indeed. okay. Try a rage taunt on Sergio. 
Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Shit! Didn't you have a shrine of me in your locker in middle school? The janitor made you throw it out at the end of the semester. Bro. It wasn't a shrine. It was a tasteful collection of basketball memorabilia. What? Indeed. That worked. Now follow up with our rage skill. Rage side A. Oh, yes, you. Ow! Bro, she knocked him out of his pants. That's rude as hell. Do you like the fact that I stick around even when you insult me? Um. Deflect, deflect, deflect. Why don't we talk about what it says about you. Hmm. I think it says. I deflected. About sorry. Both of us, actually. Am I agreeing with Sergio? I think I need to lie down. <laughs> You think she likes it to be honest? I believe it. I only get mad because I care. Don't you want someone passionate? Bro, not like this. Oh, I don't have any willpower. Oh. All I can do is attack normally. So your parents screwed you up as a kid. Big whoop. You're an adult now. Time to take responsibility for your behavior. Wow. You are so <laughs> Pot, kettle. Don't distract me, I'm winning. Girl, not really. Bro, missed. I got so mad after one of your teammates fouled you, I vandalized her locker in seventh grade. Oh. Uh, can you forget I said that? Absolutely not. I cannot. Felt sorry for you at school. Not much has changed. Girl. At least you feel something. I can work with that. <laughs> Ow. Uh, I'm starting to feel a little woozy. I'm kinda busy right now. Hey, genius, if you go down, I go down too. So you better do something about it. Okay. Indeed. Come on, child, are you okay? You haven't even tried your heal items. This would be a good time to use an item to regain some HP. I got a banana milkshake. A refreshing milkshake from Home Skillet. This is one part of Timber Hills that's never let you down. You got issues with your parents? Welcome to the club. Doesn't give you the right to act like a jerk. Point. Alright, um... <laughs> Mom has already helped you once. Don't disappoint her even more. Yes, the tutorial is long. I don't even think I, like, finished it when I played uh, the demo. Grade school behind, Sergio. Bro. Ah! Why that hurt so bad? There we go. You sorted out your differences. Now you can be friends or something more. Friendship! Came on so strong, John. I've had this fantasy of you in my head for so long. It's time I got to know the real you. I'm ready to move on if you are. Yes. I'm glad we figured that out. Yes. Because I kind of need a favor. <laughs> I hear her at home. Glad we're good. What is Sergio's flex? I can't look at it right now. Let's go! Oh, 
I got a point for the heartbreaker. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, hmm. So being a heartbreaker gets more attack. You would have left her. <laughs> um, I get more, I get slightly more willpower and defense. What does this give me? More health, more health. I think I'll take the star again. All right. <laughs> he's just like, see ya. Gotta say, he's got a nice car. Oh shit. Are those all the exes? Exes? told me one of the neighborhood cats got run over. Yeah, about that. I lied. Can I talk about all my exes though? Uh, so I take it you didn't get me an interview with one of the skate punks? No, better. Sergio has some big news. Doll is back! He's so happy about it. The rest of them are like, yo, we're gonna kick her ass. She's in Timberhills. And she's not with Jennifer anymore. Hmm, who could have seen that coming? Tyler, please, you can't come at me with that fucking voice. So what? <laughs> so, we're all Jala's exes. I thought everyone would want to know. I love that they just have like a group chat. <laughs> Jelly Beans is back. That is big news. That That's a really cute nickname actually. So, did you confess your love or did you throw up before you got the words out? Uh I did. Confess, I mean, not throw up. <laughs> Sorry Tyler. I know you two have your whole big doomed romance thing. Had there's a crater where we used to be. It's extinct. I'm over her. Look, I respect you and I respect that, but also consider. Consider. Whatever, Tyler. I'm gonna make her fall for me and then crush her. That doesn't sound very emotionally healthy. Yo, get this man out of here. We ain't about being emotionally healthy. We're about taking down Jala. Oh, what isn't healthy about long overdue revenge for being humiliated in middle school by your first crush? Exactly. Ooh, fiery and gorgeous. How have we never met before? I'd remember you. Down, boy. She doesn't play for your team. <laughs> Ahem. I was thinking we could all get closure. Maybe even be friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you're joking, right? Guys, I am down bad for Tyler. Just from her voice, please. <laughs> the rest of you can do whatever the hell you like. But trust me on this. The last thing I want is to be Jala Jairatna's friend. Chapter one, this is your mess, Jala back in Timber Hills and reconciled with her third grade boyfriend, Sergio. His shiny new biceps definitely helped. Next up on the reconciliation tour, her family. Bro, what time did I get home? Oh, in the middle of the night. Why did I just jump down the stairs like that? Sergio gave you a Sergio's Flex phone charm. It can help you do critical th Hits with thirsty skills, which you have to equip it. Okay. Eventually you'll get more slots for charms. Right now you can only use one at a time. I think it's gear. Increases the chance of critical hits when using thirsty skills. Nice. Sergio's dance moves inspire thirsty behavior. I love it. Okay, so I got it. Do I have it or not? Alright, looks like I got it. <laughs> I guess I got it. Alright. Jala. Hey, Mom. You're awake. 
Look, I don't want to be testy with my parents. I couldn't sleep. I'm not used to sleeping somewhere new. This is your home, Jala, not some hotel. Damn. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't feel so new if you had visited in the last three years. I made breakfast, but don't expect to be waited on hand and foot while you're staying here. Since I only moved out, I'm out of the habit of cleaning up after messy children. Uh, where is Aruni? Did she leave town like I did? Nobody has quite left Timber Hills like you did. Damn, Mom. Come on. <laughs> I'm your child. Can you look past my messiness for a second? She has her own place in town. It's not far. She comes for dinner a few times a week. Though that might change now that you're back home. Uh, how do you and dad feel? Are you and dad doing okay on your own? Empty nest and all that? Aruni is not the one who's been giving us sleepless nights. Damn. Better question is, are you okay? I take it that girl finally got tired of you. Uh, thanks for the sympathy. Mom looked like Ed from Ed and Nettie. Yeah. No! <laughs> I'm glad I didn't expect you to be sensitive about it. Good. I wouldn't want you to have unrealistic expectations. Bro, this is a fight itself! <laughs> that girl better not show her face here. If she knows what's good for her. <laughs> Butter toes that ass! She won't. <laughs> you hope. Uh, why did Aruni move Did you move guys out? get into a fight or something? No, Jala. I'm not so terrible a mother that both my children feel the need to flee into the night. I... I don't know if I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't about you. Yeah. Liar. Ah. Well, it wasn't just about you. Oh, yes. Your dad and me staying up worried sick night after night, wondering whether <laughs> 40, you were okay. 40, please. Wondering what we had done wrong. Abort mission, Jala. Abort. Abort. What we did to deserve being cut out of your life? Of course. None of that was about us. Okay. Maybe you should talk to your sister instead of interrogating me. She's not answering my texts. I wonder why. You better make it right with her, Jala. And soon. She's getting married at the end of the month. Oh, shit. Why didn't you tell me? That's kind of important news to share, Mom. Usually, I'm all aboard the blame Mom for everything train. But I think this signal failure is on you, sweetie. Bro, I'm getting attacked from all sides here. Inside and outside. This is your mess, Jala. You clean it up. Morning. Chala banana. I love dad. It's good to see you, Apache. You too, sweetie. You know, you're my favorite younger daughter. Hmm? I'm your only younger your daughter. Home. Back where you belong. That's all that matters. I want to fix things. I made a mistake when I left. I need to put it right. Well, at least you can admit it was a mistake. That's something. Thanks, Mom. We're one step closer to being less antagonistic. It's not going to be the same as it was, Jala. But that's okay, too, you know? Sometimes you see parents and you be like, how did they get together? <laughs> I need to talk to Aruni. Do I even know who she's marrying? Do you even know if you're invited to the wedding? Damn, Mom! Mama! It's Aruni's choice, Jala, not ours. I know, she's so Don't mean! So defeated, Jala. This is a small town full of gossiping aunties. Dad's nice, at How least. could it be to track your sister down if you put your mind to it? But he won't tell me. <laughs> He's like, you could do it, but I won't tell you how. Oh. Girl, what did you just do? <laughs> Inspect. 
Hi, Cosme verse. How are you? I, I was gonna call you Cosme, but then I was like, that's not what I do. <laughs> I I was um poking in your stream earlier and you were playing Wario. How was it? Right, I can't wash my hands like that either. Hi, let me do um let me do Twitch's government shout out. I hope you had a good day and a good stream. I almost said and a good raid, but it's me. I'm the raid. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. For those that don't know, I am Sasu. I am a cozy Gorgon streamer. I play a variety of games, mostly indie games, sometimes Nintendo Switch games. Today we are playing Thirsty Suitors. It is a South Asian uh, story adventure game, and it's very... Uh, What's the word I want? Flashy. It's very flashy. <laughs> that was your raid. Thank you. You played some Mario where move it and get it together. One sitting and listen. Okay. So move it is good. All right. I've been eyeing it. I've been wanting to pick it up. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. That's good to know. Um, and I was trying to decide whether I'd pick up, get it together or move it, but I'll definitely pick it up, pick up, move it. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're cozy here. I'm also slightly off the frame because, uh, just so we could see all the text. So don't worry about it. I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Please, please make sure to take care of yourself. Do whatever after stream things you got to do. Get some food or water or a bathroom break or a stretch and, uh, I'll take care of your community. Thank you again. Oh, oh. You're doing great. Thanks for being a great raid target. <laughs> Thank you. Ale Raiders, hi, I'm Harvey. I get bitches. <laughs> but do you also get money, Harvey? I don't know. I don't know, Harvey. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no. All right. No. <laughs> okay, so we just had a very tense conversation with our parents. And we learned that, uh... Get your money up, not your funny up, G. <laughs> we learned that, um... Our sister's getting married at the end of the month. She didn't tell us. To be fair, we haven't been a very good sister. Or daughter. Or lover. And our exes are kind of Scott pilgriming it up with us right now. Uh... Or at least that's the plan. So that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, we just fought our third grade ex, Sergio, our third grade boyfriend. We have reconciled into friends. We'll see what happens with everyone else. Uh, I'll check back later. It looks like Ama has some half finished projects in here. This game has strong art direction. Yes, it really does. Between the art direction and the animation, they were just like tight on this game. Um, and particularly the animation we were fighting the ex-boyfriend when um, <laughs> he did this animation where he jumped into his pants and then jumped into his jacket. Uh, one of the people that was, uh, I don't know how many animators they had on this game, but uh, there's like, I'm guessing like the animation director or the head animator who um, he animates all this stuff after trying it himself. And so I remembered following his Twitter and where he'd have videos of him doing this stuff before animating it. And it's just so fun. A Raksha fire devil mask from Sri, Lan from Sri Lanka to ward off evil. Arani tried to use it to get rid of you when you were a baby. It didn't work. <laughs> that, that's, that's sibling interaction in a nutshell. Now who's the evil one? Yo, where is the food? I've washed my hands. Is this the food? Mom adores this coffee machine. It's one of the first things dad bought her when we moved into the house. Oh, cool. That's cute. That's cute. Mom, where is food? Mom, please. I'm so hungry. Mom. Did I pass it? 
I thought it would be this, but it's not this. I washed my hands. I looked in the fridge. I looked at this. I looked at that. I can't go to the table anymore. Maybe I just have to look around the house some more. Yeah, there's food at the house. So, I guess we just <laughs> skate around Arnie's favorite spots downtown till we find her. I guess we're just not eating. Okay. Do you even want to find her? It's not going to be a fun conversation. Um, I'm not here for fun. I've already had excruciating conversations with my parents, several diner patrons, and my third grade boyfriend. Yeah, all those diner patrons really were all up in my business it's not for what? Be fun. It's gonna be hard. But I'm not afraid of hard work, unlike you. I can feed my animals, but not myself. Don't know how that works. Listen, saying, you're right. You're maybe absolutely you right. Give her the space she so clearly wants. No. Ah, oh, what's the point in arguing? Let's earnestly bulldoze our way ahead as usual. Exactly. Exactly. I do. I the idolized version of my sister in my head. <laughs> Alright, I guess we ain't eating, so let's go find her. Um Downtown. Okay. Slimy jar. I guess we're gonna go figure out what that means. 20% off at loops. Uh LS to move. Hold left trigger to break, A to jump, B. What are modified? Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! Okay, that's what they mean. <laughs> modified tricks indeed! That was cool as heck! Uh, I've already been to the- ow! I've already been to the diner. So, uh, where else do we go? Wait. Why is it sard, though? Is that just a place I can go, or is it a place I still need to go? Uh, we'll find out if the star fills in somewhere else. Let's see. Let's see. What's over here? Was that... Was that person a bear? No, they're just wearing a bear hat. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Ow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, why did I jump? I knew I was getting the coin. Why did I jump off? <laughs> okay. I will enter the store. You really think Aruni's lurking at loops? Unlikely, if you ask me. Or... No. You're just craving caffeine again, aren't you? Jala, you know how hyper we get. Hey, man, how's it going? We ran out of sage, so the manager's just been picking up leaves outside and selling them to go. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this conversation. Oh, manager, I don't think you could do that. Questionable yet oddly comforting sounds. Don't ask us how it's made. Oh, okay, so a little like, yeah, little slime in the th okay i got it i got it uh confetti pops decreases an opponent's defense this lowers an opponent's attack and sneakers okay i'm gonna get the slimy jar oh thank you so much for the sub derpies and tacos i really appreciate it thank you thank you so much i am just me Ah, uh, play Kendama. Oh! I did not do it well. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Yo, we're gonna get this more than once. We're gonna get this more than once, I swear. We are not getting it more than once. <laughs> Maybe if we didn't balance on our skateboard, we'd get it. Jala, you're making this harder for me. Oh? Oh. Alright, we've tried. 
Yes, everybody does need a breakdancing cat. It's true. Sesu has zero hand-eye coordination. That's absolutely true. <laughs> that is absolutely true. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? A mysterious box. We must open it. Okay, here goes. Let's do it. Gift or grift? Grift. Grift. What? <laughs> yeah, you can skateboard in the open world! Yes! Indian matrimonial ads come to life sent to you with love from Patti. <laughs> hey! Are you Jala? Jala Jayaratna? Uh, who's asking? I've been looking for you all over town. <laughs> there it is! Who's asking? It seems unfair that you know my name and I don't know yours. Your party thought we'd be a good match. My grandma sent you? Okay. Do we want my grandma sent you or my grandma sent you? I kind of want my grandma sent you. That woman is a menace. And I mean that with the deepest respect. <laughs> with the deepest respect. You really didn't know I was coming? No! How would I have? No, I really didn't. Oh, well. Hope you like surprises, Jala. I don't, actually. See, okay. I knew that I'd be fighting the exes, right? I did not think that I would be fighting random people to the so I'm funny. <laughs> I'm ready to settle down with a girl like you. You don't even know me. Indeed. It sounds like it'd be easy for you to shock this guy. Try using a shocking taunt and follow it up with a shocking skill. All right. Yeah, let's do it. I feel sorry for you, but I'm still going to destroy you. Yo, the way she jumped into that split. That's right, that's right. Fati didn't tell you about this, huh? Ankle breaker, nice. <laughs> Papyrus eyes, really though? Oh. Where do I get all the basketballs? I can't believe this is actually happening. I need a minute. All right, that minute's all I need to kick your ass. Damn, you still shot? a very important call from your party. Like? He couldn't attack. I can't attack him like that anymore. So let's just suitor slam him. Yeah. Dunk on him. Your determination just makes you more attractive to me. Sir? Shame, I think you're pathetic. Now, scram. Yeah, scram! Get out of here! Oh, oops. I didn't see what I got from it, but I'm sure it was great. Haunt, uh, heartless taunt and through the heart are some new skills we got. You know who could help us fight Aruni? The gossip queen of t uh, Timber Hills, our auntie Chandra. She doesn't usually play favorites, but it's worth a shot. She'll be at the body shop flirting with any of the passing librarians or single moms with car trouble. I... I don't know if I love her or want to be her. Auntie! Hold on, Auntie. I gotta pick up some stuff. I could not pick up that chocolate for some reason. Ow. Ow, I cannot skate for my li- I cannot skate to save my life. Uh... Nice. Let's enter the body shop. Hey! Can- Can we talk about our auntie, Chandra? Ma'am? What? She's picking it up like it's easy. Like it's just... A little stroll in the park. I feel like you purposefully ate tell me there's skateboarding in this. 
I didn't know how to explain it. There was a lot in it. I feel like, no, I definitely mentioned skateboarding to you when we talked earlier. I definitely mentioned it because I mentioned skateboarding in the same breath as cooking. <laughs> yeah, she is going to crack the weight. Oh, Jala, it's so good to see you. I wish everyone felt that way, to be honest. You are in possession of a minority opinion, Auntie. Nonsense. Half the town's happy to see you, and the rest is happy to have an opportunity to gossip. She got a point. You are utterly terrifying, Auntie Chandra. Yeah, the weights are just tires! And don't you forget it. And can we just talk about how she... Very casually, very casually. It's just twirling a 15 pound weight. My wrist would crack. My wrist would crack if I did that. So weird thing just happened. Your grandmother sent an army of potential suitors to Timber Hills to ambush you? Why would she do that? <laughs> Auntie respectfully. <laughs> I know Fati loves Listen. you, but Aruni's always been her favorite. Listen, man. Auntie, please. Auntie, I'm free. I Friday night. First, you know. Am I going to be dodging marriage proposals every time I walk down the street? Good question. Hmm. Do you want the honest answer or a comforting one? Oh. Auntie, give me the honesty. You've already been a huge comfort. <laughs> Auntie, I'm free now. <laughs> Hit me with the truth. Your body was disappointed her daughter didn't marry an Indian. Oh. Oh. Yeah, give me the tea, auntie. I'm here. And now her beloved granddaughter, despite her best efforts, is marrying someone even further from home. She's shifted her hopes onto you, the remaining grandchild. I see. I see. That makes Maybe sense. Maybe a little too much truth there, Auntie Chandra. <laughs> Ugh. Just what I need. <laughs> Sips gamer sups. Thank God, these eight thousand miles away. That should give me some breathing space. Yo, she's eight thousand miles away, but she is working. Uh, Jella, you know Aaron is getting married in a month, right? Oh my God. Girl, we already knew. We've been new, girl. Yes, my dear. Oh, he's coming. Oh. Here, oh, that's right. Else. That's right. I didn't put it together either. You'll be here at the end of the month. Sorry, sweetie. Oh. How about I clean up that skateboard of yours? Maybe it'll make you feel better. Hmm? I, maybe. All right. Do we want blue lightning? Or... Literally, purple or magenta. <laughs> How we feeling today? We feeling blue or purple? Yeah, Grandma gonna boost our board stats. Purple it is. Oh. Let me... Yeah, I, I got it. Okay. Indeed. What is she doing? <laughs> Auntie, I'm free. <laughs> Please. <laughs> She's showing off now. This is so funny. Oh, my phone. Jala, I have a great idea. A brainwave. Can you come home now? Uh, that sounds ominous. What kind of idea exactly, Dad? Nothing bad, my suspicious little milkshake. <laughs> Ugh, fine. Yeah, I am whipped. Dad is nice to me. I'll see. Oh, he's teaching me how to cook. All right, Auntie, I love you. I could sit here and watch you all day. You're so cool. But you gotta catch those librarians and single moms, and you can't do that with me here. I get it. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the map. 
Ow! Nice. Alright, let's go to the map. Let's go to... Dad! <clears throat> Man, this game's so cool. Girl, how do you do that? How did you do that? Jala, I had a little thought. Uh, just a suggestion. Okay. Uh-oh. Dad's come up with one of his ideas. I'll listen to this man say anything. He's my dad and he's nice to me. What's Why up, don't Dad? You ask your mother for a cooking lesson. I am no longer listening to him. I'm a terrible student. I hate following instructions. I'm an improviser. I thrive on the unexpected. Girl, you can't do that in cooking. So what you're saying is it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> oh, oh, that got me. That got me. Uh, Dad, you know how I <laughs> feel about puns. You love them. I can't help myself when you give me such a delicious opportunity. I love him. I'm begging you. I love him. <laughs> it would mean a this guy, you, right? If you asked. Oh, I guess I do love to cook. Maybe it'll mend my yeah, relationship with mom. In a well stocked kitchen. We didn't really have the space at. At? No, we are not talking about Jennifer with our dad. Burn him at the stake. Dad? No, we love dad. <laughs> we love the puzz. Concerned face, and we will die of guilt. All right, don't tell him about our latest ex. Just Got it. Give in. Okay. Fine. Okay, but you're responsible for the consequences. Just. Promise me you'll put down the knives if you start arguing. <laughs> Man, he is literally like stereotypical dad, where it's like dad he's reading the paper. To be punished with the fullest extent of the law. Oh my God, Harvey! I cannot believe Harvey! I raised yes. you better than this. Oh, hey, mom. Cook. All right, what are we cooking? Parat uh, paratas, flaky, buttery, layered flatbread that goes My with jokes are everything. Dad jokes, not dead jokes. I raised you better. Any time of day. All right. So, mom, I had an idea. Could you teach me how to cook something? I feel like no matter how much mom hates us. She will not put down an opportunity to flex and teach something to us. Well? Yeah? Since you're so eager, I guess I can't say Exactly, that. exactly. Is dad secretly an evil genius of emotional manipulation? Oh, I'd believe it. Behind that benevolent facade, he's really got you and mom worked out. <laughs> <laughs> How about today we start with paratas? Okay. Go wash your hands before we begin. I just washed them, huh? Girl, wash them again! It's water, not hydrochloric acid. Your hands won't burn off if you wash them again. But... Girl! To learn to make parantas or argue with your mother? Guess my I'm mom. on mom's side! Shala Jairatna takes the high road. It's probably also a cold day in hell, and somewhere in the world, a pig just got its wings. <laughs> and don't forget to scrub your nails. Yes, I'm, uh... Uh So we can wash our hands. Yeah, I want to see us do a flip over washing our hands too. I think I'm going to do a super wash hands. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Complex indeed. Adequate. Adequate. That, you know, that actually means perfect. <laughs> if you follow the recipe well, you'll get heat. Use heat to super cook and try your luck at complimenting mom to gain her approval. Whisk the flour and salt together. All oh, right. I love whisking. Feels very powerful. Please try not to cover the entire kitchen in flour this time. This time? Oh, I'm geez. five years old, mom. Is that <laughs> let that incident go? No, she's not going to let it Good go. Luck. 
Indian mothers hoard embarrassing childhood stories like dragons hoard treasure. Very Just true. Just whisk Jala carefully. All right. Well, I can't super start anyway, so let's just apply spoon to bowl. Yeah. Oh, so you are paying attention. Mom! Mom, I have to ask. Hmm? Uh... Why are you... Mm, aren't you mad at me? I expected a lot more yelling when I came home. Well, I've been told the shouting and screaming didn't work so well last time, so I'm trying something new. Oh, you're being nice. Yeah, passive aggression. Oh, you're not being nice. It's more like aggression, aggression. <laughs> what was that? Uh, nothing, ma. <laughs> you better hold that shit to now, yourself, girl. Now, the vegetable oil into the flour. All right. Once the oil is incorporated, start adding water a little at a time. By the way. We're in a cooking bit. If you want to play another South Asian game with cooking, please consider checking out Venba. Um, it is an indie game that uh, is about a mother and her family, and um, they are like, they're immigrants to Canada from India. So you get a lot of like, the immigrant experience you get a lot of the first gen like first generation um american experience and altogether it's a very good game it's also very short it clocks in at maybe like two hours and they're making a cookbook for it soon that's the most important part they're making a cookbook for it soon <laughs> i'm really looking forward to that there's nothing like mixing with your hands really get in there all right. I wish I could super hand mix, but I can't. Let's regular hand mix. Bam. We're not really getting our hand in there. Good. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You're happy. Let's go. You roll the dough into balls and leave it aside to rest for an hour. Uh, we should talk. Do you think we should actually have a proper conversation? Instead of avoiding our issues? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> I set aside some dough earlier. We just need to roll it out and fry it. Then what was I doing? Compliment mom for a chance to gain an advantage in cooking. Although results may vary. South Asian moms are a mystery to all. Nah, we're gonna super fry. Let's do it. Hua. Oh. Huh. Huh. Girl, I don't think you should do that. It was fine. How much validation do you need? Mom, I need a lot of validation, please. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. How is it, Mom? Bro, it was so good. She got a Food Wars type scene. So, how did I do, Ama? I don't know anything about Food Wars except for the crazy scenes. <laughs> oh, Jala, it tastes... It tastes great. Perfect. Amazing. It tastes... Decent. Oh. You're improving. Thanks, Mom. Yes, I've always had it in me. Thanks, Mom. Or I'm just a very good teacher. I think I just always had it oh in me. Oh my God. When did it become so late? I have to go to bed. I have to be up early tomorrow. It's the teacher's union meeting and I promised everyone I'd make kiribat. Um. I don't want to say either of these. Skip the meeting. You could just say you're not feeling well and sleep in. Jala, I hope that's a joke. Yes. I haven't missed a union meeting in a decade, and I'm not about to start now. Okay, Mom. Okay. Good night, Jala. Don't stay up too late, huh? Okay. We did a good job cooking. Good job, us. Ooh. 
we got some new taunts and a new charm slot. That's a good thing. We got bonus points to put somewhere. Uh, let's take some extra XP. Just a little bit of Bohemian. All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I have like ads upcoming. Let me snooze them. Because it's getting around that time that I need to end. Because <laughs> it's late and I want to eat dinner. Um, so let me... I'm guessing it saves through... Uh... Yeah, it must save through every time you go through a loading screen. That's my assumption. Let me quit and try. I'm double checking. I'm double checking. Give me a sec. Okay, yes. It bought me right there. Yep. It's exactly how I thought. Okay. So yeah, this is Thirsty Suitors. Let me switch back to my just chatting just for a little bit. If you can, please stick around for the raid. I'd appreciate it. Um. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this first look at Thirsty Suitors. <laughs> yeah, you know, time flies by when you're having fun. But don't worry, tomorrow we'll be here same time, going right back at it. I do gotta say, probably moving to two games, at least for this month, going to two games is really good because... <laughs> I have another like very highly anticipated game I want to play coming out in like two weeks and I think at our current cadence we can do it or be at least like a week off or at most like a week off I think we could do it because um from what I understand this game is about nine to ten hours um just you know playing through maybe having fun um so I think that'll be the perfect amount of time for us so yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me i really appreciate it thank you so much to cosmiverse for the raid i really appreciate it thank you to soul and beetle and cosmiverse by the way of derpy zen for the subs i really appreciate it y'all are really cool and then also thank you for the follow as well um yeah so i'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m pacific to continue playing more of this game and then on friday at 3 p.m pacific we will jump back into tears of the kingdom i think i think we're still in a dungeon i don't think we beat it yet so we'll probably beat our second dungeon then um but yeah thank you so much for hanging out uh, give me a second while I figure out who we're going to raid to. Ideally, uh, because this is a story game, I wouldn't want to raid to someone that's also playing it that might be further ahead. Um, let's see. I definitely know who I'm going to send us to. I am going to send us to, um... He is a VTuber by the name of Malakai Lazuli. He is playing a game that I am like, I want to play so bad. It's called Slay the Princess. It is about um, trying to slay the princess and why you just can't do it. It is an extremely good narrative game. It's also voice acted. Uh, so you don't, guys don't have to read as much. <laughs> I know I want to play it so bad. <laughs> oh, I just, I don't have time to play it but I want to play it so bad. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so I'm going to send you guys over there. Uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to remember my raid message as I do this. Uh, I really appreciate it. Here is your raid message. Y'all are the coolest, and y'all keep me smiling. Is that not it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Stream elements just took a minute. Okay, if you are not a subscriber listen you could have been anywhere else on twitch and you decided to be here today with me and i really appreciate that i hope to see you all again soon here is your read message um please make sure to take care of yourself 
Uh, get some food, get some water. Your body will thank you for the water. Make sure to take a bathroom break and make sure to stretch. Your body will super thank you for the stretch. Especially stretch your wrist. <laughs> That's very important. <laughs> All right. Um, let me send you guys over to Malachi. Please have a good rest of your evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy Slay the Princess. Also, one more thing <laughs> for those that might not know, it is a horror game. So if you are sensitive to horror games, please keep that in mind. There is also flashing that could tr trigger photosensitivity and epilepsy. So please be careful of that as well. All right, let's get ready for our raid. Thank you so much. Have a good one.